we set up the blog in 2010. Yeah, so it is over five years. And in blogging years, we are prehistoric. Yeah. But actually, we a look lot. amazing. Yeah, we young. do. Oh, I forgot the dog's coming. And it, it feels like it is our space, and it's our space to present our world and our world <laughs> sometimes a bit weird yeah and it's not Facebook world it's not like oh look everything looks so perfect so it's like it's the antithesis of that I hate that I just think <laughs> I want to show people what went wrong one of, of our best YouTube videos ever was yeah Lucy did this it can do this amazing fairy cake but Claire it's... ruined it by tapping the tin <laughs> you holding on to that yeah I held on to it three years later but I think actually as we're both journalists, we're not particularly interested in running a marketing campaign around ourselves to let people know how amazing our lives are, because it, it wouldn't really be truthful. And it's not very interesting. So when we write a blog or do a YouTube video, yeah, we're happy to show our faults, but also we want people to come away with some knowledge actually, mm. take something away from it, as yeah. opposed to it just being, oh, I went out for this amazing dinner with and my amazing, amazing husband. I looked amazing. When you're a sister or a sibling, it's very easy just to ignore and neglect that relationship. You can fly off the handle really easily mm. and, it, and it doesn't matter because they're not going anywhere. You're still going to see them at Christmas. When you work with someone, you can't do that. You actually have to start treating them Working like... Working through things. Yeah, yeah, you have to treat them like a normal human being. You have to try and create a relationship. You yeah. have to be nice to them. It definitely is our space. We've definitely mm. grown into each other more because before you see your sister as a sister and a friend, but here also you see them as a work colleague, essentially, because you know, we're blog, but you know, and there's a the creative side of it, but we see the side we have to approach people and talk to different yeah. people. So you kind of see your sister in a different light. And actually, I, I was quite impressed. <laughs> <laughs> she, she had very low and expectations. I <laughs> but I just thought, oh wow, you're really brilliant at what you do. And you do lots of things better than I do. And that's really nice to see in your sister, Cause especially when you work together, because you're just like, oh, sit back, yeah. relax. <laughs> really. Hello, well cottage pie is one of my all-time favourite things to eat. I've been having it since I was about that high every birthday, every special occasion. My mum used to say, what do you want to eat? Cottage pie. And now the years have passed, but it's still one of my favourite things, which is why when the Children's Food Trust, who are a fantastic organisation getting kids everywhere involved in cooking, asked me to make it, I jumped at the chance. But